Welcome to the second in the series of how to connect flash and uh, microcontrollers. Today I hope this will be a little more exciting. We're going to use a wireless network. And how is this going to be done? Well, we have an Arduino here with a Wi-Fi module integrated from uh, Roving Networks. If you've been following my blog, you'll remember the Black Widow from Async Labs. This is the guy. Uh, you can configure it to be a web server, socket server, client, however you decide, and access uh, via ad hoc, or you can just let it sit on your network. So I have a sketch here that will serve up a cross domain, return device status, and can allow us to turn a LED off or on. Uh, ideally, you can expand this approach to generally interface with digital or analog pins on the Arduino, whatever you, whatever you want to do. Really, the sky's the limit. But keep in mind that the sketch here, this is, this is your driver. It drives the hardware. And for the interface, though, the flash side of things, it's, it's pretty simple. There, there are no serial proxies involved in the communication, no complex protocols. We're, we're just talking URLs. Um, so here's the IP of the Black Widow. And we'll tack on a command here. This is kind of a restful approach. And we can use it to retrieve device status or turn on an LED and turn it off. It's pretty trivial to expand control here to relays, sensors, external systems. It's pretty much uh, your imagination. Let it run wild. Um, what's the use case for this? Uh, well, the one that I came up with was for a water company. Attach this guy to a water meter and all you have to do is go to your service provider's website where a flash movie can connect to your web-enabled water meter on your internal network and access how much water you've used for billing, uh, information on peak usage, uh, pH levels, whatnot. Uh, this is a pretty interesting setup. Data collection behind a firewall using a website, uh, a web page with an embedded flash movie to deliver software to users for that connectivity. Uh, so this is the second way to be able to access microcontrollers from Flash using a wireless network.